unsaved, we flounder as fish in a dark, mephitic barrel en route to hell. And hell stinks too. Hallelujah. There's an idiom like shooting fish in a barrel. For the devil, capturing souls is like shooting fish in a barrel. Unsaved are taken captive by Satan at his will. Our goal, hallelujah, is to recover ourselves out of the snare of the devil. We are given the ability to recover ourselves through Jesus who came down from glory to deliver us. Throughout the ages, there had been no way out for us, no window of opportunity, only hopelessness, darkness, and despair. But Jesus made the atonement available to us by shedding his blood on Calvary for our cleansing. Hallelujah. The atonement is defined as the reconciliation of God with sinners through the sufferings and death of Christ. Yes. Jesus finished the work and rose again for our justification. Hallelujah. If we break it down, atone at one means united. Meant is the state or condition or fact of being. At one meant. Atonement. The state of being at one with God. Hallelujah. Because of the atonement, we can repent. To repent is to feel sorry for having done wrong and seek forgiveness. Stop saying, what have I done? God says, you have sinned. Hallelujah. All have sinned. And if one says, I'm sorry for being a fornicator, or effeminate, or a drunkard, and so on, but continue the same lifestyle, that is not repentance. Hallelujah. Proverbs 28, 13 tells us, He that covers his sin shall not prosper, but whoso confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. Confess and forsake. Stop doing it. Hallelujah. Turn from sin and self and turn to Jesus and trust him. Hallelujah. Why repent? Because it is the simple way that God has prepared for us to recover ourselves out of the snare of the devil. Only way. First John 1 John 1.9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In Luke 13, 1, Jesus is told about a group of people who had suffered at the hands of Pilate. In verse 2, he answered, saying, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sitters above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things? I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Hallelujah. Repentance comes with humility. 1 Peter 5, 6 through 10 tells us, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour, whom resists steadfast in the faith knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But God, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Hallelujah. John introduced Jesus by preaching repentance. He was in the wilderness preaching repentance and, and baptizing people. And Jesus began his ministry Preaching, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Now that's Jesus' message. Hallelujah. Repent and believe the gospel. Hallelujah. Acts 3, 19-21 says, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. 
when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heavens must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Restitution of all things. Some people who have been in jail understand that word restitution. Restitution is the act of restoring to the rightful owner something that has been taken away. God is taking back the souls that the devil stole away. Hallelujah. Ever since Adam and Eve disobeyed God in Eden, the devil has kept the unsaved confined in close, smelly places. And in Isaiah, he opened not the house of his prisoners. The devil won't take the lid off the awful fish barrel. He affords no relief. But repentance brings deliverance. Hallelujah. Solomon prays in 1 Kings 8, 47 through 50. Yet if they shall be, bethink, bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captives and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive, saying, we have sinned and done perversely. We have committed wickedness and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen and the house which I have built for thy name. Hallelujah. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven thy dwelling place and maintain their cause and forgive thy people that have sinned against thee and all their transgressions wherein they have transgressed against thee and give them compassion before them that who carry them away that they may have compassion on them. Hallelujah. And when Solomon finished that grand prayer, the fire of God came down from heaven and burned up the sacrifices that they had put before him. Hallelujah. But Solomon was praying about human beings holding us captive. When we repent for our sins to be delivered from the devil, God does not expect that entity to show us compassion. Hallelujah. When we repent, God sets us free. Yes. Why repent? Because the only way out of the putrid barrel of sin is repentance. In Romans 3.23 we read, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Some people's sin is obvious, but other people are deceived by well-doing, good deeds. They are pacified. You're all right. The devil lies to you. But Paul tells us in Titus 3, 3 through 6, For we ourselves were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and evil and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Hallelujah. And in Ephesians, we read, for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, lest any man, not of works, lest any man should boast. We can never do enough works, good deeds to earn heaven. Hallelujah. Nice nasty are in the smelly barrel of sin, trying to find a reason to repent. They can't find sin in their lives. That's nice nasty. <laughs> But Romans 3.10b tells us there's none righteous, no, not one. Nobody is sinless, but Jesus was, and that's the only one. 
Jesus' atonement gave us the only way out of the snare of the devil, repentance. Psalm 116, 3 and 4 says, The sorrows of death campus me, and the pains of hell got hold upon me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Hallelujah. Psalms 124, 6, 7 says, Blessed be the Lord who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Hallelujah. In December 1972, I repented. I sought God with tears for two whole days. And reading the word, I found St. John 16, 24, which said, Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. I prayed, Father, touch me in the name of Jesus. And he heard me. Hallelujah. And he saved me. He brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. I was born again and woke up Christmas morning a new creature in Christ. The snare is broken, and I am escaped. Hallelujah. Repentance through the atonement. The devil cannot repent. No hope for him. So he wants to destroy us. Hallelujah. In Hebrews 10, starting at verse 9. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He takes away the first, first that he may establish the second. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest stands daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. Hallelujah. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way that he has sanctified for us through the veil, that is to say his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil constant conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Hallelujah. Verse 17 there said, and their sins and iniquities I will remember, will I remember no more. We remember because the devil accuses us and condemns us, but we should also remember God's promise that he will not remember our sins and iniquities. Hallelujah. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. That's Hebrews 4, 16. Hallelujah. Now, perfumes and deodorants were all invented because flesh stinks. The odor of flesh is unpleasant because it always, it's always in the process of dying. The body breaks down due to the decompos de decomposition of bacteria and fungi. But it, it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Hallelujah, and I saw the dead small and great stand before God, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Beloved of God, I present to you the gospel of the Lord Jesus. St. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Who Jesus has said, these are my people. All of them. I love my people. I shed my blood for my people. Tell my people I'm soon to come. Beloved, Jesus is coming soon. Beloved, if you want to be saved, hallelujah, and enjoy fellowshipping with God in the, in the atonement, at one moment, being at one with God, repeat after me and receive Jesus as your Savior and have your name secured in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. Dear everlasting Father, I thank you for sending Jesus 
to die on a cross for me and rise again for me that I might be saved. I repent, dear Lord, for everything I've said, done, 